This is a client success story from one of our guys, Ivan, who was put through our program by his boss, Alan, who's the director at Herschel Infrared Heaters. And within 12 weeks, Ivan had gone from no previous practical hands-on experience in engineering to being fully capable and confident managing and producing their manufacturing production line of their heating control systems. So from the specifying, the designing, all the way through to the build and testing of the panels ready to be shipped out to site. And this allowed Alan to get back his time to focus on higher leverage tasks within the business. And in this video, I want to share with you the conversation that I had with Ivan so you can learn how he was able to do this so quickly. And if you ever want to reach out to the guys at Herschel Infrared Heaters, you can find their contact details in the description below. <laughs> right. Well, mate, I, I really appreciate you, you putting the time aside to jump on this call. Um, for people that are potentially going to watch this video in the future, I, I just want to quickly introduce you, Ivan. So you you were actually one of the earlier members to to the program. Well, why didn't you, why, why didn't you introduce yourself? Right. So uh, <laughs> I'm not too good at introduction, but I'll do my best. I can I can help you. <laughs> uh, so my name is Ivan. Uh, I'm an automation controls engineer in a heating company based in the UK. And uh, I have been taking Chris course on, on control panels and automation uh, as part of my job, as part of my training for the job, uh, in order to expand the skill set that I have, uh, being, uh, being pretty new to the industry and to the, uh, uh, not just to the industry, but to the larger um, field, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, being fresh out of the university. Uh, yeah. So that, so yeah, that, that was what I was interested in understanding um, where, in terms of introducing yourself, where, yeah, like what's, what's your background before we get to the program? What's your background, Ivan? Where were you before the program? So before the program, I studied electrical and electronic engineering at the University of Bristol. So uh, that, that managed to get a master's degree yeah. and uh, I got employed. Uh, here at the company for the for the automation role, and yeah. that is pretty much it. Yeah. yeah, what it was is like Alan, your your manager. It was actually him that found um, like the, the program initially and saw me on on social media. And so it, so it was kind of Alan that I spoke to initially, and the initial conversation with Alan was like they're they're take they're taking someone on you, um, or they have taken someone on, and they they. The problem that they had is they they wanted you to ultimately manage the the project delivery from from start to finish. With with that, like before the program, with like being able to deliver a project, where would you say your confidence was and capabilities were like before the program? If you had to deliver a complete project, so I would say that uh, at the very basic level. Uh, the capabilities were then so obviously the degree didn't go to uh, to waste, and I had some previous tinkering with electric experience, which helped on a very very basic level, as in the actual panel building and uh, making it actually work wasn't uh, an issue. So, but at the end of the day, on the other hand, the confidence wasn't too much. I wasn't feeling too confident, mainly because I try my best to understand my own drawbacks. And this was a major one because I had the basic understanding of what I need to do, but I did not have experience. I did not have some specific industry specific and field specific knowledge that I needed to make this work better. Yeah. And uh, well, to basically um, make good automation panels and decisions, not just okay things. Okay, mate. and that's really interesting. So you mentioned experience back then. Uh, a second ago and this is something that I like talking to people about like experience and I think people get um, hung up on the term experience and they think it's like time served within the industry that's gonna mean that they're they're capable of doing something and I try and I try and talk to people and I try and explain to them that it's not necessarily time served that means you have experience like if you've got knowledge understanding in something like you could say, well, you're experienced in that and you you can deliver on that, you know. 
before you did the the project delivery like just the experience that you gained through the program would you would you would you say that's that's helped you deliver projects ultimately it it did give me a skill set and you're absolutely right in that uh when you say experience it's not just the time served you can serve you can work dozens of years and still not learn anything but this is what gave me the confidence and the knowledge to actually see uh projects through which is what I'm basically doing now. So it's it's it, I wouldn't say it's given me a lot of project related management skills, but then again, that's not what the program is about, is it? Uh, but I will say that it did give me a boost in terms of that it's given me confidence to uh, uh, and pride in what I do, and that is at least for me is a major part. Yeah, I suppose I wasn't clear in what I what I meant by project delivery is is taking a project from the start, um, you know, through through the process of, you know, specifying, designing, documenting, panel building and then like testing before it goes out to site. I see, I see. That's kind of what I meant by project delivery. Um, So did did Alan did did Alan sort of take you on initially then um to to do to do this to do the project delivery so alan was self-taught he was doing this before i was uh hired and once i was uh he taught me the very basics again so uh it was really just he just taught me the panel building the very basic aspect so and this combined with my electronics understanding from a master's degree um, was what I worked and his aim was uh, again I'm probably running a bit ahead here but for this project uh, with the course the aim we uh, uh, was trying to achieve for me is basically get that knowledge that he didn't have yeah. uh, and for me to be an actual professional with no and okay. then for the, for him to uh and as, as you rightly said in the beginning for him to basically like sort of disconnect from from from, from the penalty aspect and for me to sort of play my own sandbox with him just right okay yeah and so how does alan feel now then um like after the program what you're doing now he's very happy I will say that uh, we had sort of meeting minutes uh, and we went through long distance actually, a topic of, uh, of training. Um, what I've heard and what I completely agree with him on the, uh, in much most of what he says is that it's, a, it's, it's been a great experience. The quality of uh the culture has risen across the board effectively and i have seen that from the customers as well i have to say so uh even though well it's it's just that the panels are better we have less complaints from i wouldn't say complaints but uh less uh notes from the inst- from the installers from the electrical installers of these panels because we don't have the question yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah we yeah. basically have much less doubts about our panels, like what, what goes where after I've done training with this, with this uh, I think that is probably a major part of this change. With the schematics world, or, or obviously I think, um, uh, having enough compared to what we did before the one, which again was basically just, uh, it, it, it wasn't anything sort of professional. Uh, so this was a large step up and Again, with the uh, with the schematics, we have we have much less questions about what they went. and I'm happy about it because I don't have to spend time as answering questions on things that I've already made. Alan's happy about it because it's obviously less work for him, it's less work for me. Um, so he is pleased pretty much. Yeah. So for you, then, mate, like in terms of your your like how does it feel for you um like let's let's remove alan for for the time being like for you where how do you feel like it's it's impacted you you know from before the program and then sort of where you're at now i'm feeling much more confident that's probably the the best uh i wouldn't say even the best the, the most 
uh, the largest factor that, that's okay. changed. I've gained knowledge and with it, I've gained confidence that in, in what we do, both in panels and in their documentation, again, yes, so I, I, I can now uh, stay confident that I'm making quality products with quality documentation for them and providing a complete package up to the standard, which is a huge motivator to me because I take part in what I do. And I want to address it. And if you had to pick like one thing out of the program that you would say helped you the most, what specific thing in the program would you say that was? Me personally, it's the live sessions. And we've touched on a lot of things in live sessions, mostly the world schematics, but as we have it for all our discussions where I come back with questions regarding with all of the material that I found with them, I much prefer studying live even if it's just uh over the uh, over the wire it just gives me a sense of i won't say belonging but it's 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 just different rather than just watching video it made me confident to ask questions uh, which at the end of the day enhanced my learning experience and made the program made the end result better so i'm now, this conversation that you've just watched is only a snippet of the full conversation that I had with Ivan. And if you want to listen to the full, unedited, raw chat between us and really get into the nuts and bolts of how he went from being a student with no previous hands-on experience to delivering control systems start to finish within 12 weeks, You'll find the full video in the description below. And if you're a business owner, director or senior manager, similar to Alan at Herschel Infrared Heaters, and you'd like to upskill your engineering team, you can find the details also in the description below.